Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Precious. I'm a first year medical student. Today I'm going to be doing a video on study tips and resources. Um, it's difficult to kind of say how one should study because it's just like depending on like what kind of program you're in, what subject you're studying, things like that. So this is just like a general study tips and I guess the way I studied um, throughout first year and what's helped me. And this can um, help, you know, if you're in high school, college, med school, whatever you're in, these are just general study tips. Um, I've also done a video on memorization techniques in medical school, um, so I'll leave a link below to that. You should also check that video out. So my first tip is to find an environment that's conducive for your studying. So find the best time and location for your studying. So that can either be, you know, in your apartment, at a coffee shop, um, on campus. For me, um, I don't like studying stu uh, like super late, so I won't be up like at 2 a.m. studying because at a certain point it's just unproductive for me. So I prefer to wake up early in the morning if needed. So we have lecture um, every day at 9 a.m. So I would maybe get to campus at 7 a.m. and study for two hours before class. And I find that those two hours before class that I'm studying, I'm so efficient during that time, I'm so productive. So that just works for me instead of staying up super late to try to maybe cover a couple more topics before going to sleep. And as far as my location, I prefer to study um, either in my apartment, um, I have a desk in my room, or at the coffee shop, um, which is like walking distance from my apartment. The only time I study on campus is if I were to go like um, early in the morning to study, like how I mentioned. But other than that, I mean, we get out of class maybe typically around three o'clock. After that, um, I'd come home and I guess I'm more of like an evening studier, start studying from um, late afternoon through the evening. And then if needed, I'd wake up early in the morning and um, start studying on campus before class. So it's really important to find somewhere that's conducive to your learning, um, somewhere there's not gonna be any distractions. Um, no phone distractions, no TV distractions, because honestly, you can be sitting down and studying for five hours, but if there's little things distracting you all around, you may have only studied for two or three of those five hours. So definitely find the best place to study and then go from there. My next tip is to do practice questions. You learn so much from doing practice questions. It just allows you to apply what you're actually reading and see if you truly understand the concepts. So um, I didn't start doing practice questions um, like to incorporate into my study until I started med school because I mean, I don't know, I guess in college it was just easy to read the material, go take the test and do well, but I feel like now to really, you know, see if I'm progressing with the material, if I'm understanding the material, if I'm mastering it, I just have to do practice questions. Um, some resources that I use for practice questions, um, Lectorio, it's an online resource. Um, I use like the BRS study books, um, you can do like U World questions, Kaplan questions, any type of Q banks that you can get, but practice questions are very important. So every question is going to have an important concept and that can kind of guide you in your reading and your overall studying. And getting, question wrong, getting questions wrong, I feel like truly help you think more about the material and just overall enhance your study process. My next tip is to develop a routine and find out what resources work for you. I think having maybe two or three good study resources is enough. Oftentimes if you have five or six, it's just too much and then you're just all over the place with your studying and um, your routine as far as how you study. So my main resources for studying were my lecture, no lecture notes. They pretty much covered everything I needed. Um, so we have lecture Monday through Friday, um, typically it's two lectures a day, and then we have a lab in the afternoon. Um, our lectures are recorded so we don't have to go to class, but I do choose to attend. And so my routine is pretty much um, going to lecture in the morning, come home in the afternoon, I review that lecture um, the day of, and then the next day, say it's Tuesday, we'll have two more lectures. Go home afternoon, review Tuesday lecture as well as Monday's lecture, Monday's lectures. And so through the week, I'm continuously seeing the material multiple times. The material is just sticking in my, my head better. And along the way, so the first pass, you're seeing the material, you're kind of passively studying it, but as you go along, that's when I supplement with outside resources if I'm not understanding something. So say we have a biochemistry lecture, um, you know, we had the lecture on Monday, I review it that Monday, okay, that's a couple passes, I've seen it. If, I reviewing, if I'm reviewing it again on Tuesday, then I'm bringing it outside resources if I need some clarity. So the book that I used for um, biochemistry was BRS Biochemistry. 
so this book right here covered pretty much all the topics for biochemistry it had practice quest questions in it it was just a general just a good review book so this is what i supplemented for my biochemistry um lecture notes and also physiology there's a brs physiology book um for um you know your physiology subjects that book was very very helpful um throughout first year and i'll provide a link to all the um study books that i've used and um brs stands for board review series so they have multiple subjects of books like this is um a gross anatomy one this is an embryology one and i literally paid like five dollars for anatomy one and this was like six dollars um, on Amazon so they have several subjects it's overall just a good review and provides um, practice questions and another online study resource that I found out a little bit later is a website called Lectorio so it's just an online study resource they have like hundreds and hundreds of lectures from different subjects and it's taught by um, medical school professors like from Harvard and Yale and so what they do is they break it down by subjects so you can do like um, like biochemistry or anatomy or cardiology respiratory and each subject will have um, different lecture videos and then with that it'll also have questions to go with it and then it'll have like an overall review so that was that's a really really good study resource to use especially I especially like the questions for it because a lot of the questions is like clinical type questions so um, it really lets you apply the knowledge um, you know that you're learning and others uh, other type of questions are like quiz questions which you get you know pretty much straight to the facts so you are able to mix it up and you can um, you know study different subjects with the resource now it's really good for like if you just need to maybe cover like a certain topic so say biochemistry if you're not understanding glycolysis they'll have a video for that maybe like a four minute video so yeah they're super quick um, just get a quick review in with it and they also have this um, cool feature called the book matcher so um, you can use an app on your phone and um, like say you're reading um, a review book, let's say First Aid for example or any textbook, you can take a picture of that page you're reading or you can put the um, page number in and what they'll do is they'll convert that into a study video. So say you're reading um, something about vitamin A in your textbook. So either take a picture of that or put the page number in and then it'll then convert that to a study video. So that's good if you want to mix it up. Sometimes it's it could be annoying just continuously reading and reading and look at black and white pages. So um, you can sign up for free um, and get access to some videos, but to get all the access, you'll need to, um, a subscription for it. And so Lecturio has sent me a discount code so that you can get 20% off. So I'll leave a link to that below and um, yeah, go check it out and see what you guys think. So again, develop a routine and pick a few resources that work for you. My primary resource was my lecture notes and then I'll supplement it with the BRS books and maybe an um, outside online resource like Lecturia for example. My next study tip is about note taking. So the purpose of taking notes is just to condense the material and to be able to like summarize it in your own words and so that you won't have to go back to lecture notes or go back to a textbook when you're reviewing. You can just look straight at the notes that you took. So for me, I took all my notes on a laptop. Um, our school provided us with a laptop. We got it through paying our tuition. And so it was just easy to take notes on that. Um, I just put all the PowerPoints into OneNote and was just typing in class. And you can also draw on it, it's a tablet. But there were times where I just felt like certain lectures needed or certain topics needed to actually be written out. That just helps memorize it better and to visualize it better. And um, these are like, this is, this is like a pathway. So stuff like pathway, this is the visual system uh, for neuro. That would be something I'll take notes for. Um, what else? This was the hearing pathway. I would just print out a picture, then put notes on the bottom to go with it. For me, that just helped me study better. Um, like I have some renal physiology notes. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, I, the purpose is to condense the notes. Um, I have some highlighting here and there. But yeah, your notes should be personalized. Um, just quick facts, overall summary. It shouldn't be the whole textbook. Um, and you should be able to just look at this and not have to go back, you know, to your notes. These should be, you know, or not have to go back to your lecture notes. Like these should be a condensed version of everything. 
And you know, everybody's different. Some people don't like writing notes. Some people um, prefer to be, take notes on a laptop. In college, all I did was write down my notes. Um, when I came to medical school, it's just way too much to write down all your notes. So I started doing notes on my laptop, but certain subjects for me, I would need to write note, handwritten notes for. So overall, I just think it helps with memorization to write certain things down, to visualize certain things, especially like for biochemistry, if you have a lot of pathways, it's good to write all that out. So just be able to decide when you should do handwritten notes for, versus when you shouldn't and I think that'll help as far as um, memorization and just overall study habits. My last tip is to stay organized. Oftentimes we're just not studying properly or we feel like we're not studying well enough because we're just all over the place in our studying and we're not organized and focused about what we need to do and what we need to accomplish for the day. So for me, planning is key, daily schedules, weekly schedules. So just make a list or even like a mental note of the concepts and the topics you need to cover for that day. For me, you know, I enjoy being able to check off all the things I put on my list. And you should be realistic about what you're setting for the day. Like it shouldn't be 50 tasks for one day. Be manageable and um, realistic about what you're setting. And I feel like when you have everything written out and everything planned, it just makes your studying so much more efficient. So um, organization definitely is key because honestly in medical school, there's so many different topics you have to cover, so many different little things you need to know and master. So if that's all in your head and it's not organized well, if it's not written down, I feel like that can just really mess you up in your studying studies so stay organized be efficient and get a planner <laughs> so those were some of my study tips um, you know finding a good study time and location make sure you're doing practice questions early and often make sure you're developing a consistent routine and you're using resources and limiting it to just a few um, to supplement your overall studying and make sure you're organized in your studying and in your planning so I hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.